Hello and welcome to Community Watch. Today we'll be interviewing candidates for the Rome City Board of Education and the election date is actually November the 7th, so please go out and vote. Today we have seven guests and so in order to ensure that all of our guests have adequate time, uh, let's just move right into it. Dr. Ayler. Yes, sir. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. As we approach the election date, what one issue regarding Rome City Schools is the most important to you? I think the most important issue in this election is choosing the right board. Um, Rome Board of Education needs uh, new energy and it needs a new vision. And with that, it needs new faces and new voices. All right. One of Rome City School projects on the East Plaza proposed to be voted on. Which one project or request seemed the most needed to you and why? Um, I would give both the sixth grade academy and the college and career academy uh, parity on that issue. Um, very few school systems in Georgia have uh, a K through uh, six elementary school. Um, and we find that kids going from sixth grade in elementary school to seventh grade in middle school find a lot of transition issues. So a transition point with a sixth grade academy, I believe, is, is going to be a tremendous benefit to Rome City Schools. As well, Rome City Schools is lacking in diversity with our curricula, uh, particularly at the high school, and we've known this for years. We've known this for years. Uh, and there's excitement in the community with a college and career academy um, and what it could offer our kids, not just next year and the next year, but for years to come. All right. Do you support caucus meetings being open to the public for transparency? Uh, I believe so too. And in fact, um, if I become a new uh, school board member, I would like to see there to be uh, a five or 10 minute open agenda uh, in the board meeting for uh, parents or concerned community members to sign up. Um, if it's, there's a lot, uh, of interest, maybe through a lottery or first come first serve, so they can, you know, share their concerns or interests or recognize people in the school system um, at that point in time. Do teachers and staff in Rome City Schools match the diversity of the student body? Is there an issue? Is this an issue that should be a concern of the board or not? This is an issue that should be a concern of the board. And our faculty does not represent uh, the student population of Rome City Schools in terms of matching ethnicity. Um, we have an issue with teacher turnover. That's a big, big issue. Um, and Rome City Schools lacks uh, elite recruiters. In order to recruit elite teachers, you need an elite recruiter. And I think Rome City Schools definitely needs um, someone in that position. Considering the increasing number of Hispanic and Latino students in the city schools, what would you do as a member of the board to encourage the participation of Hispanics and Latinos at the administrative level in the city? At the administrative, the, yes. say that again? School administration. What would you do to encourage participation at the administrative level? I think there needs to be more culturally relevant instruction in the school system. That's where you're going to get that's where you're going to um, access our students and that will come from the administration um, to uh, share with teachers that that is a mission our, of ours to, to have culturally relevant um, instruction going on that match the, our students' cultures and that'll help engage our kids, particularly um, our Latino population. The county has implemented a sophisticated college and career academy for technical education. Why do you believe the city has been so slow to create a similar option for city students? I'm not sure the answer to that one. Um, we have been slow and there has been interest in our community for a college and career academy. There's also been a lot of interest in how could we share resources between uh, Floyd County and Rome City at this point in time. Um, the answer to that question is we're not going to share resources and I think a uh, school board is not doing its best if uh, we're not looking at ways to maximize taxpayer dollars. Um, but I'm very happy that we're having a college and career academy come to Rome City Schools with, uh, with our vote on November, November 7th. Do you support a dress code at Rome High School and why do you think there has been so much opposition to it? 
there needs to be a dress code at Rome High School. There is a dress code at Rome High, and there always has been a dress code at Rome High School. Um, we found that um, certain attire can be distractive to students. Um, I don't believe going overboard is necessary, and our, the, the, the dress code that is in the school policy is probably appropriate, just not consistently enforced over time, and that means year to year, not, not uh, one administrator to another. Um, so I think there needs to be a, a dress code. But I also believe that overextending our dress code tends to um, penalize girls more than boys. Uh, boys can wear khakis or jeans and a shirt, and, and uh, girls are, 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 are more affected by, by uh, more strict dress codes, that's for sure. Do you think Rome City Schools is putting too much emphasis on sports and not enough on academics? I think over the years, Rome City Schools has had uh, most of our focus on academics and the arts and band. Um, and our mission statement is to prepare students for college and, and, um, and, and career readiness. Um, I think a, an emphasis on sports is good and it's exposing a lot of kids to opportunities that they've not had in the past, but there ne def definitely needs to be a balanced approach with this, particularly across academics, arts, and sports. Are you satisfied with the current bus system for Rome City Schools? Do you believe the Rome Transit buses are, a safe, are as safe as traditional school buses? This is a, a Rome is an unusual uh, community where we're, Rome City Schools is dependent on our, our transportation, transportation system in the community and they're dependent on Rome City Schools. Um, Rome City Schools at this, this point can't just spend millions of dollars to, to, to purchase an entire fleet of buses. But it is a concern, um, and I've heard this from parents, um, we do need to supplement the Rome uh, Transportation Department with buses to help with um, getting kids to school and home on time. What is, what is the current dropout rate in the city of Rome, and what is the board doing to pro improve that issue? Our graduation rates, I don't know the exact number for dropout rates, our graduation rates are, are at approximately 90%, which is um, well above the state average. Um, so we are doing a good job. I know there is follow-up, um, and, and uh, there's a, a, a dropout counselor at Rome High School, at least in the past, to help with that. What makes more sense to you, having all seven of the Board of Education seats come up for election at the same time or having staggered terms? At this election, I like that all seven seats are coming up because I think that we need new faces and new voices in our, at our board, um, at the Rome Board of Education. Do you, support, do you support term limits for the Board of Education? I do support term limits for Rome Board of Education, maybe two terms. Um, while you know experience, you know, if, uh, facilitates wisdom and and institutional knowledge. I think at some point in time, um, I think you lose a touch, you know, with with the community and with the kids. All right. And the last question: Do you or have you mentored a student at Rome City Schools? I have. I've had. Uh, I've mentored men many, and. I mentor kids beyond their graduation, getting them into college, getting them, in, them into graduate school, and former Rome City School students in their PhD programs. Um, so I've, I've prided myself on that over, over the years. All right, well thank you Dr. Ayler. We'll be right back right after this. My college offers classes that meet my educational and career goals. With opportunities outside of the classroom where the faculty know me by name. My college can prepare me for my career. I can earn an associate's degree and transfer credits to a bachelor's. My college is a state college within the university system of Georgia. My college offers courses that fit my schedule. It's where excellence begins. We are. We are. We are. We are GHC. Georgia Highlands College. Welcome back to Community Watch, and now we're joined with uh, Richard Dixon, a candidate for the Rome Board of Education. 
As we approach the election date, what one issue regarding Rome City Schools is the most important to you? I think the one most important, important issue is that we make sure that our students from kindergarten, pre-K, all the way through high school get the best education that we can possibly provide. Providing that education is very, very important and we as a board must put the framework together so that that can be accomplished. All right. Of the Rome City Schools projects on the East Blast proposal to be voted on, which one project or request seemed the most needed to you and why? The one most needed to me, I think, is the sixth grade academy. To me, it offers a phenomenal opportunity for getting sixth grade students all together there will be much more opportunity for them in doing things that they might not be able to do in their individual schools and it will help them bond again more easily before they go on to middle school to the seventh and eighth grade. It will also f free up classroom space in the elementary schools so they will have some room to expand because some of them are bursting at the seams as it is, so if the sixth grades move to the uh, sixth grade academy, then they will have more space to occupy with the students that they have coming in to those schools. Okay. Do you support caucus meetings being open to the public for transparency? Caucus meetings are open to the public. The only thing that is closed is the discussion of personnel and there is debate about whether that should be open or not. My personal opinion is that the personnel discussions should not be held in the public eye because there are things that may be brought out that might not look well for a person A, B, or C, and we would not want to have that made public, but it may be important to talk about those things in private. So the caucus is open except for the personnel matters, and I think that's a, at this point a very good thing to do. Do the teachers and staff in the Rome City School system match the diversity of the student body? Is that an issue that should be a concern of the board or not? It is an issue. And at this point in time, the diversity of our student population is not really matched in the teachers. But then again, the problem is finding the qualified teachers that can be then in the classroom to teach the students. And every effort is being made to bring into the teaching profession minorities, and this will help then along the way to make the students feel more comfortable if they have uh, a person who, with whom they can identify as a teacher. But the unfortunate thing is that qualification of those student, of those teachers is a real problem. So there are not that many out there, but we want them all. So we can have that diversity of the teachers as that diversity is in the student population. Considering the increasing number of Hispanic and Latino students in the city schools, what would you do as a board member to encourage the participation of Hispanics and Latinos at the administrative level in the city school system? We probably have no direct way that we can do this other than encouraging uh, Hispanic Latino students who are in college to pursue an education degree and then go out and recruit them once they become seniors and say we need you in our school system and that is one way that we can get maybe more of the Hispanic Latino uh, representation in our student uh, in our teacher population. The county has implemented a sophisticated college and career academy for technical education. Why has the city been slow to create a similar option for the city school system? I'm not sure they have been all that slow. There have been a lot of roadblocks probably along the way of which I am not, with which I'm not familiar. But in this new East Blast, there is a college and career academy, if you want to call it that, that is planned for the campus at Rome High School. 
and it is going to offer quite a number of uh, pathways for the students to begin that education toward a goal of a degree in or, or training in a particular area. So it's going to open up a number of other areas that our students may pursue that will get them prepared to go into the workplace once they graduate from high school. Do you support a dress code at Rome High School and why do you think there has been so much opposition to it? Yes, I support a dress code because there are certain types of dress i.e. male or female, that distract from the learning opportunity that the students should have in the classroom. And so if we have some form of dress code, this will help to minimize those distractions. Yes, there has been some discussion about the dress code that is in place now, and there will always be discussion about changes, no matter where they are, no matter what they are. And you know, maybe it could have been handled a little differently in the beginning, but the bottom line is it was needed, and I think it has become a very positive thing at the high school. Do you think Rome City Schools is putting too much emphasis on sports and not enough on academics? No. The uh, academics I uh, area is the prime area of the concentration. Athletics are extracurricular activities. They are not a part of the curriculum, so they are all extracurricular. And in that vein, the students who participate do it, in essence, if you will, on their own time, out of the school day. So I don't think we're uh, emphasizing it too much. It gives a great deal of pride to our school system when a team wins a state championship, and that's wonderful. But the discipline those students receive in learning the sport and in participating in the sport are very, very good things that will stand them in good stead later in life. Are you satisfied with the current bus system for Rome City Schools? Do you believe the Rome Transit buses are as safe as traditional school buses? We have a contract with the uh, Rome Transit Department to supply the buses. There are a few buses that are owned by the Rome City School System, but most of the buses are uh, Rome Transit Authority buses. I think they're probably as safe as the uh, any other school system buses are, there may be some changes that could be made to make them safer. Generally, that's always the case. Uh, but we have a situation where we don't have enough dollars to go out and buy the buses that might be ideal for our school system to own its own buses. So right now, the program that we have going probably is as good as we're going to get under the certain circumstances that with which we're dealing. All right, that's our time. I want to thank uh, Mr. Uh, Dix for being with us. Stay with us. We'll be right back right after this. My college offers classes that meet my educational and career goals. With opportunities outside the classroom. Where the faculty know me by name. My college can prepare me for my career. I can earn an associate's degree and transfer credits toward my bachelor's. My college is a state college within the University System of Georgia. My college is affordable. It's close to home. My college has online opportunities. It's where excellence begins. We are. We are. We are GHC, Georgia Highlands College. Welcome back, and we're now joined with Mr. Jim O'Hara, candidate for the Rome City Board of Education. Mr. O'Hara, as we approach the election date, what one issue regarding Rome City Schools is the most important to you? That's a good question, Greg. You know, being the first time I've ever run for political office and the reason why I'm running, I think there's a lot of concern among the community. Um, otherwise, why would 15 candidates run for so the school board. Uh, I think some issues need to be addressed. Nothing real bad, but I think it, it, it's a time where R Rome needs to look 
further to the future of where we are now and where we want to be. I think the Rome City Schools are on a good path, but uh, we can be better. Being the top 10 district in the state is great. We can be number one. I'm truly convinced of that. Of the Rome City Schools projects on the East Bloss proposal to be voted on, which one project or request seems the most needed to you and why? Well, definitely the space. Uh, Rome's enrollment has grown from elementary level all the way up through middle school and high school. And the projects uh, listed are most urgent, uh, especially Maine Elementary. I think that should have been done, should have been done 10 years ago. Uh, those children need a good building, uh, up-to-date building, a modern building. Uh, and the addition to Rome High School, uh, the Career and College Academy, uh, that space is needed also. Uh, so I support any ELOST, I really do. I think uh, we're going to need some more down the road um, because the community needs to support our education, whether it be city or county as well. Do you support caucus meetings being open to the public for transparency? I'm all about transparency. I mean, that was my career, being transparent, being objective, being open to the public. This is the public's, the citizens, the residents, it's their school board, it's their school system. And people need to know what is going on, not just in a regular formal setting, but in caucuses or any meeting. Uh, anytime the board gathers together, that is an official meeting. Uh, and that has to be publicized, even though they might not uh, uh, take any action, but they're discussing it. Uh, it is, should be open to the public, and the public should attend too as well, to know what's going on in, in the uh, school system. Do the teachers and staff in Rome City Schools match the diversity of the student body? Is that an issue that should be a concern to the board or not? You know, I've had, I would had the privilege after I got out of being a, a sports journalist to, to teach, as you know, and, 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 it, and it brought my attention to just how great a faculty we have, how great teacher, how many great teachers we have. And, and you look across the diverse spectrum of it, I think it is diverse. Could it be more? Sure. It could be more diverse. But I think what we have in place and who we recruit reflects on how these children do. And, and I think in the long run, we are doing a jo good job. We could do better. Um, but it, again, uh, I think I'm all for the teacher. I, they are doing heck of a job in the school, a mounting pressure uh, for the amount of paperwork they have to do. Uh, it's, it's, it, we have to understand that, that they are one group. They are teachers. They, they, they could be from any ethnic background or any religious background, but when they're in the school, they are teachers of our children. And that has to be a, a great proud thing that Rome can be proud of. Considering the increasing number of Hispanic and Latino students in the city schools, what would you do as a member of the board to encourage the participation of Hispanics and Latinos at the administrative level in the city school system? Well, I think it's good to include every minority in the administration level. Uh, Hispanics, African Americans, uh, you know, it, it has to be a diverse system. So uh, the Hispanic community is growing and we have to be aware of it. We have a lot to go to our church that I've become friends with and we interact. I think more interaction and communication needs to be done between the school system and the Hispanic community. The county has implemented a sophisticated college and career academy for technical education. Why has the city been slow to create a similar option for city students? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, you know, when Rome High was built uh, in the early 90s, they did have certain classrooms dedicated to what we now call pathways, uh, vocational training. Um, and that kind of fell by the wayside. I, I was hate to hated to see that happen, but there's a revival of it, and it makes sense. It's a good revival to, to bring that back. Uh, the College and Career Academy is a, is a door which Rome needs to go down. Uh, whether or not we have our own, and if we can't find those pathways for our students, we need to look elsewhere in the community from other colleges, other businesses to get that job done. 
Do you support a dress code at Rome High School, and why do you think there has been so much opposition to it? Well, I, I think uh, over the last few years, because there's been so many changes uh, at the high school, uh, at the central office uh, with the superintendent and principals, I think it, it kind of got forgotten what the kids are doing. Uh, I support Dr. Holland's uh, decision early on to, to enforce the dress code, which has always been in place. Um, you know, it, it, it reflects on our students just, just how they perceive themselves as proud young people who are dressing for success. And I think that success, being able to graduate and prepare for a job, is what they need to learn uh, and, and dress right in a workplace. So I support it completely. Do you think Rome City Schools is putting too much emphasis on sports and not enough on academics? Well, uh, you know, that's a, <laughs> you're, asking, you're asking somebody who's been involved with sports a long, 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 long time. But I, early on, I realized it is not an athlete student. It is a student athlete. The student always comes for, first before athletics, band, any extracurricular activity. You have to prove yourself as being a student in the classroom. It's, it's all connected though, the ath athletics part of it, the band extracurricular part, it's all part of that student athlete experience or that student experience. Uh, ath athletics is a great builder, I think, of, uh, of, of character, of teamwork. And, you know, it's all connected with what is being taught in the schools to, to work together, to solve problems, to come together and, and be one united community. Are you satisfied with the current bus system for Rome City Schools? Do you believe the Rome Transit buses are as safe as traditional school buses? Oh, that's, they've been used for a long time, as you know. Um, and, and the city has been really gracious to allow the Rome City Schools to use it. However, it is an aging fleet, and we know that. Uh, uh, it has to be addressed soon because uh, as the population of our students' enrollment grows, we're going to need more buses. Uh, I've, I've see, sometimes I see several buses that have been sidelined for mechanical issues. Another one has to be rushed into service. You know, it'd be great to see uh, the Rome City Schools have its own bus system. Um, but then again, it needs a more cooperation between the Rome City Transit Authority and the Rome City Schools to work things out a lot better. Because obviously, Rome City School uses the buses more than they're used to transport citizens around the community. What is the current dropout rate in Rome City Schools, and, and what is the board doing to improve that? Well, I don't know what the board's doing right now to, to improve it. I think the dropout rate has decreased. Um, I do know that the graduation, graduation rate is, is up in the 90s, uh, and that is a good thing. And I, I like to, to think more of the gradu graduation rate instead of the dropout rate. There are people who uh, students, children who, who are lost by the wayside, and that's sad. Uh, you know, and as much as we have uh, a good number percentage of, of children graduating, you know, we still have to take care of those children who are lost uh, in the shuffle that, that can't make it. We have to address that problem as well to bring it up. All right. Well, that's our time. We want to thank our candidates for being with us today. And just a reminder, um, this is for the Rome Board of Education. Uh, election is November the 7th. Please do your civic duty and go out to vote and stay with us. And uh, we'll see you next week on Community Watch.